Hi guys, it's Nancy Trekker back for another adventure. Today I'm taking you on a 45 mile, five day wilderness backpacking adventure through Glacier National Park. Let's go. My adventure began at Lake McDonald, where I boarded the shuttle that would take me across one of the most scenic drives in the world, going to the Sun Road. I want to take the shuttle. I'm here, and we're going to go up there over to Logan Pass, and go all the way over to St. Mary's. And that's where my trek begins. So today I'm going to try and get to this Red Eagle campground from St. Mary's. It's about five, seven, eight point five miles. And it's another mile from St. Mary's where I get dropped off uh, from the shuttle to the trailhead. And second day, I'll have to backtrack and come along here. And I've got Reynolds booked. And then on the third night, gun sight. And the fourth, uh, Ellen Wilson. And then I have a few options. As we climbed higher into the mountains, the landscape unfolded before me, revealing the raw beauty of Glacier National Park. On that ride, a bighorn sheep stood sentinel over the valley, a reminder that this land is as wild as it is beautiful. It felt like a sign of what was to come, a journey into a world where nature reigns supreme. I'm here at Sun Point, shuttle will stop. Everyone else got off. <laughs> I'm the last one on the bus here. I rode the shuttle all the way to the end. All right, so it's just after 11 o'clock. I have left the St. Mary's Visitor Center and I'm just now walking to the Red Eagle Trailhead where my journey begins. There's no shade on this leg of the trail and I'm guessing until I get over on the west side of the divide, it'll probably be much of the same. So it's 8.7 miles to the Red Eagle Lake Head Campground is where I'm headed, right there. I would have stayed at the foot one, but it was booked already. There's how far I've got to go today. Today. But first, before I begin my trek, I'm going to check out that historic 1913 ranger station. Let's go. Apparently a mountain lion was once in the attic up there. The rangers lived in here in 1913 when it was constructed. I wonder if we can go in. I think it's locked. I guess it'll be the same for this one. It looks a little newer. It's padlocked as well. That's a cool door though. Inside, I guess that's the horse corral. In this door here, it is not padlocked. I already tried, I couldn't get it open, but it doesn't look like you're supposed to get in there. 
From St. Mary's entrance, my feet would carry me deep into the wilderness where the rhythm of life is dictated by the seasons and the creatures that inhabit these lands continue their ancient ways, undisturbed by the passage of time. Well, that's strange. I guess I could have taken the trail from that ranger station. It's only 1.2 miles versus the 1.3 miles I just did. And I got another 6.1 miles to go to the lake. That's not far. Less than 10K. Let's go. Which way you look at it, the view is amazing from here. hot so I just wet my bandana or my buff whatever you want to call it in the river and so it cools me probably by five six degrees at least so that's a hack to keep yourself cool in uh, really hot weather it is like in the 90s today plus 30 I think 31 was the high today uh, and it's pretty hot. It's it's what 1:30, I think, and I'm not sure, but I think I'm halfway, at least halfway. I'm at the river crossing, so I think I should be at least halfway. And uh, oh, hopefully I can get to swim in that lake when I get there. What I found. So these are a member of the Saskatoon family, the Amelanchiae. Um, they're a different family than the Huckleberry or that Cinium blueberry family. Um, and I definitely find these sweeter in Manitoba where the cold weather impacts them. All right, so it's 10 after two. Look where I made it to. It's the uh, Red Eagle Lake Trail. It's two and a half miles to the lake. And I have to go a little bit farther than that because I'm at the second campsite, but it's really not far from here. It's another one of those bridges. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. Yes. I hope that's nothing important.
I'm beginning to think that the lake is nowhere in sight. It better be over this fridge. I don't know for sure, but it's almost four o'clock. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. There it is. It's a red eagle. Nothing is more amazing than that. After a little day hiking, it was a long day though. That feels so refreshing. I'm just going to dry off here a little bit and then go back to camp and have some dinner. The first evening at Red Eagle was peaceful, the calm waters of the lake reflecting the fading light. But just as I was settling in, something remarkable happened. A moose appeared, swimming across a lake with surprising grace, and then, as if in celebration, she began running in circles in the shallow water. It was like watching nature's very own happy dance. Watching this magnificent creature play, I felt a deep connection to the wild, a reminder that the wilderness is not just a place of survival, but also of joy and freedom. As I set up camp, I felt a deep sense of being a guest in a world that belongs to others, a world where a moose just might wander through the area, as if to remind me that these lands are theirs and I'm just passing through. As the moose disappeared into the forest, 
I knew that this adventure would be filled with unforgettable moments. This was just the beginning and I couldn't wait to see what else Glacier has in store. Until next time, happy trekking and remember, we're all visitors in the wilderness. Thank you.